Timmy got to be here. And I want to show you today a Lewis script that I wrote called Base Monitor. And it runs on Minecraft uh, computer craft computers. And like the one behind me, and I'll show you how it works. So what we do, if we go into this computer, and we run it, this is what it does. It will basically show you all of your items that you have in chests, or in caches, or in the Jabber. Uh, let me just get to it. The actual Jabber better barrels. So you can add items in there. Uh, so at the moment you can see it shows 64 out of 4096. You can monitor the liquids in tanks, all kinds of different tanks. Buildcraft tanks require a, a peripheral proxy from open peripherals. Uh, you can also monitor capacitors, caches, cells, all of those things. So what it does is it will show you a list and it will have a heading in here. So contents for the base. That is what I've set this computer to. So this configuration that you can set to determine what you want this to be called. Now you can have more than one computer called the same thing and it will just add all the items uh, underneath your existing list it won't split it up. So it will, if you look at the one that says diamond, those are normal caches. So it's like these here, so the caches. And I also have this running through a network cable all the way to all these systems here. And this is the diamonds that you see at the moment, all the bare barrels. So those would actually show you how much is actually inside the system. So if you look at redstone, there's a lot more redstone. So it actually increases the bar. That bar indicates the percentage of the item. So when it hits the end of 2K, that means it's 100%. So like this power cell is 1 million, so that's fully charged. Uh, liquids are indicated by green and with a green bar. And the value is in buckets, so that would be 7 buckets of molten endurium. 47 buckets of water. Um, I haven't put uh, added any any legend on here to show it, uh, but that can be added. Then uh, the purple ones are actually items that's in a chest, so it won't actually show a percentage. It will show you what the number of items is. So if you look at torches, there's 128, and if we walk over to the actual torches the chest, you can see it adds all the torches together. So what it does is it works with uh, wireless modems and it works with normal modems. It works with a standard computer. You can have the standard computer like this with a black and white monitor or you can have the advanced computer with an advanced monitor. So both of those work. Uh, the modems can be attached to any side of the computer. The same for the monitor. doesn't matter which side you want to put on. So if you see this monitor is on the left, the one on this side is on the right and the wireless modems on a different side. At the moment, these both have the actual modem, not standard wired modem, on the back, but it makes no difference where you want to attach that. Now, if we start this one up, it has additional information, and what we have is contents for the pantry. It's got lava, it's got a melon, and you'll see that it automatically works out. If it's a black and white screen, it doesn't have color, it'll automatically show it in black and white. Now all of those items will flow through onto this computer here. Just give it a second, it updates. You can set the frequency that it updates on as well. And there we go. So contents for the pantry will show up in here. And in the script itself, there's a couple of things you can change. So in here we have a value that's set, is it main? If it is the main computer, set this to true. If you set this to false, it's independent, will run by itself. And then the ID that you want. Everything else, and you can set colors. This is where you define all your colors that you want to use. And also the length of the name that you want. And you can set the channel. So you could have more than one of these and run them on different channels. And then this is all fully automated. It will it will automatically detect any peripherals that you have attached and work out where they are. 
and you can set up in your startup script so that it starts automatically which is what I run in my main base so this is how, how it all works you can add additional items to it so if we can add more chicken in here you will notice that it will automatically update here so cook chicken 2000 at the moment and there's 3000 so once it updates it reads it periodically now there's 3000 in here and you'll notice that this will also update so in your base, main base, and there you go, 3K. So this will automatically update as soon as you make changes to it. Now you, what you need to make sure is that when you do hook up these devices, when you have your wireless modem or your wired modem, you need to click on it, you need to right click on it to make sure that it actually activates. So it needs to have a red um, lining around it. And that will basically activate it so that it will read the actual content. So if we were to disable these, it will no longer show up. And uh, I will, I will set, I will paste the link into the description, so you can go and download this and have a look. Thanks for watching.